Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is good and today, like so many days recently, I have just nothing. I got nothing to talk about. There are no thoughts in my head. Like I'm just here and um, it's frustrating, right? To, to not really have thoughts. Uh, I have this story stuck here that I've been trying to get on the page. I've written a few hundred words this week. I literally haven't really put a whole lot down just because uh, I have this opening scene written. And I know the third scene. And I want there to be another scene in between. I just don't know what that is yet. I haven't figured that out. So, I'm thinking I might just jump ahead and write that third scene. I have heard writers do this. Some writers just write chunks and then stitch them together later. Um, and that might not be what I need to do. But I don't know. When I hear writers talk about that, they talk about, you know, stitching pieces together. That sounds to me like, you know, writing a couple of paragraphs as a bridge as opposed to writing like an entire chapter, <laughs> right? Because the, the space of time that I would like to fill for pacing reasons is like a full chapter. I would like for there to be some, some more... But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it just needs to just abruptly jump. And um, so I might write that third scene. And if I determine that the pacing is good going from the first scene to the third scene, then I might get away with just having a little extra bit at the end of the first scene to kind of explain what's happening and then jump to the third scene and just not have it. So maybe that's the way to do this. Maybe I just talk to myself into starting jumping ahead in time uh, for the character. Uh, I think that might be the clean way. I, I also like it when I read, I like when time jumps happen. And I don't necessarily mean like five years. I mean like I've always enjoyed those, like, a sentence, like, a, 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 a paragraph ends a complete portion of the story, and then in the next portion, we jump ahead to the next important thing. There doesn't need to be sentences describing the travel. There doesn't need to be, you know, the next week went fine. It just can jump straight ahead. And I enjoy that sort of reading experience because it helps, you know, pacing. It helps move the story along. So maybe I just need to take that approach. I don't know. Uh, other than that, working on the train game continues. I ordered the new prototype. I told you that the other day. It's supposed to be here this weekend. So Em and I will definitely be playing it over the long weekend. I did uh, make one last minute change. There's, there was one card that I didn't think was useful enough. It was just kind of okay. I replaced it with another card before hitting the order button. And we'll see where we are when I get it in my hands and I play it. And I'm sure I'll post pictures and stuff on Twitter if you want to see the new prototype or you want to see follow along with, with my testing thoughts. The last time I played it, super excited. I'm actually more excited about this next time. And it, and I think I alluded to, uh, yeah, I did a video where I talked about playtester, uh, the way that playtesters often inadvertently influence design. And um, I think after this next set round of testing I can talk a good bit about how this particular playtester influenced the design and I think it's for the better I'm not positive about that yet but I think it's for the better uh, so we'll just have to see when I get the product in my hands and when we play it um, because like I said the other day I'm, I'm too lazy to make it I'm not too lazy I just I value my time I've been reading you know a good bit lately and playing magic spell slingers on my phone and so that's what I'd rather do and, and spending time with him we we watched oh I could talk about that <laughs> I watched football last night, like college football, something I haven't done in over a decade probably. It's been a very long time. Uh, but the backyard brawl happened last night, which is a big event here when WU plays Pitt. Uh, they are not in the same conference, but they used to have this game every year, and it's been going on for like a hundred and some years. And uh, 
So we watched that last night. M, of course, uh, graduated. Well, not of course. I don't. You probably don't know that. M graduated from WVU, so she's a WVU fan. She used to go to games, student passes, all that sort of stuff. So she wanted to watch it, and I, I watched it for the most part. I fell asleep, but I watched it, and uh, it, it wasn't boring. It was, it was fine. Like it was okay. And I think that just having her there, listening to her commentary, because. If you've ever, I mean, I guess everybody knows that professional sports commentators are terrible. Like, they just say the dumbest stuff that even the most basic viewers can be like, what the hell did you just say? That's really stupid. So listening to her talk about them, while well, it, it actually made it pretty entertaining because she was very vocal the entire time, which was fun. Um, but the weird thing was there were commercials. Like, this is the first time I've watched something on TV. I mean, we, we watched it on an app. It wasn't on TV because we don't have TV. This is the first time I've watched something like that in a, I mean, I don't know when. And, and just commercials were running. And they were, like, the same commercials. And it was really weird. Like, this is a really weird viewing experience. Why would anybody like this? Just terrible. So, anyway, um, I, I'm scattershot. I think my brain has been scattershot for a couple weeks now. I think some of this week is allergies. I've been really battling allergies hard and taking Flonase and all that sort of stuff, which usually leaves me a little bit foggy. Uh, but hopefully this weekend I'll get some stuff done. I'll play test. I'll write. I'll read. Relax. That sort of thing. And uh, next week can be another productive work week. What do you got planned? Anything planned for the big weekend? This is a long weekend for us in America. Monday is Labor Day. Are, are you going to do anything this weekend? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends, wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is nexus. It is a noun meaning a linkage or connection between two or more things. Every time a message seems to grab us and we think, I just might try, we are at the nexus of choice and persuasion that is advertising. Andrew Hacker, an American media critic. Nexus, any X-U-S. There was a whole lot of advertising last night that I... That, that made me go, yep, I'm never buying from that brand.